Great and wonderful people, how on a day, welcome back to Texas TV. We don't carry another apple, go come on a donut about waiting the soap for inside palace. As the to river debutures now be say, carry a sea over a day, lose it all yesterday at Queen Naomi's Deaconess. Yeah, people that walk in Mommy Tedenikawa's church. People that pray with Queen Naomi in her church because Queen Naomi, she have a group of uh, prayer warriors. We heard that some are old enough to be her mother, while some are still young. But this particular deaconess, we heard that she is like a mother to Queen Naomi, she they call her open sea. She prays with Queen Naomi, she advises Queen Naomi. So when this issue of KBAC and Queen Naomi started, we heard that this woman was among the people that advised Queen Naomi to leave KBAC, not to return back to the palace, that KBAC is not too ready for marriage. So, she was among people that advised Queen Naomi wrongly. And when KBAC got the information that this woman is among the people that was advising Queen Naomi to leave palace, KBAC got seriously angry to the extent of blasting this woman. Yes, KBSC lose it yesterday when Naomi was shocked. She couldn't utter a word because KBSC was so angry that KBSC went to Mommy Tedenikawa's church and luckily she saw the woman. When he saw the woman, he lose it on the woman. He was so annoyed that this woman is advising when Naomi so wrong. That's why should a woman of 70 years be telling Queen Naomi to leave her marriage? A marriage that comes with a lot of up and down. Why not back Queen Naomi up spiritually and physically? Why allow Queen Naomi to leave her marriage if you truly love Queen Naomi? Now, so KBS in the Telamo. We heard that KBS went on and on to the extent of questioning the woman. If it is your daughter, will you allow her? To leave her marriage. Why don't you tell Queen Naomi to stand strong in her marriage and fight? You were among people that were advising Queen Naomi to live and live, and right now everything we built have scattered. Kabi see yesterday we heard that he lost it on the woman. The woman was crying, she was shedding tears, the deaconess, as we heard. She was shedding tears when Kabi was shouting at her that she is not a good mother to Queen Naomi because she advised Queen Naomi so wrong. Yeah, we all know that Kabiesi is angry because for Kabiesi to bring back what he had with Queen Naomi before Queen Naomi left, it is very hard now. Things are not going the way Kabiesi planned. The Oloris has made life so unbearable for Kabiesi they have made things so hard for him. We may say that Kabi Ese and Queen Naomi are back together. But to enter the palace is a very difficult thing now. Because Olori Miriam said that she will not sit down and watch Kabi Ese bring back Queen Naomi into the palace as the first wife. That Queen Naomi will come into the palace as the seventh wife. That is the battle that they are into now. Even though that the Levi elders has announced that Queen Naomi is the first and nothing but the first, that she is the queen, she is the Eloa of the souls, everything depends on Queen Naomi. Everything belongs to her because she came into the palace before others. So she is the head of all Oloris in that palace. But we heard that the battle is still ongoing because the Oloris no agree gongom. They say that they cannot come and build for Queen Naomi to enter and enjoy. That is what they told Queen Naomi yesterday. You were sitting down in Akure after we built mansions, we built businesses, we built a lot of things with KBAC. You want to now come in and enjoy and reap where you did not sow. That it will not work. We will fight until we get what we wanted. That is what prompted Kabiesi to enter Akira this morning. And on reaching in Queen Naomi's church, he saw the deaconess that also advised Queen Naomi to leave palace. 
And Kabiesi was so angry with the woman. Because if not the advice that they gave to Queen Naomi to pack up her things and leave palace without Kabiesi's consent, Queen Naomi would have been in the palace and probably by now, we would say that Queen Naomi will have another child. Yes, because Prince Tedineka was already four. If Queen Naomi is in the palace up till now, no doubt she will have another child by now. But because they advised her wrongly, like Kabies was saying, that is the reason Queen Naomi left. And now everything is so difficult for him to bring Queen Naomi back. And as Kabies was blaming the woman, we heard that Kabies was also blaming Queen Naomi's mother. That if Queen Naomi's mother told Queen Naomi the truth, that Queen Naomi would not have left. But they took away Queen Naomi to punish him, and right now things are scattered. For him to bring everybody back together, it is very difficult. But we know, say, things will work out in a way that God planned it. Because like I tell people, say, when I see Queen Naomi, she go into palace back. When I see Queen Naomi, she will reconcile with Kabi, see, even if not now in future and it has happened it has happened one thing is that Kabiesi should allow god to work it out in his own perfect timing since the oloris has has vowed over their by body that uh when naomi shinekola will come back it is left for Kabiesi to take it easy and allow god to perfect it because finally Kabi Esi and Queen Naomi are back together, and that is how God wanted it. Now they have learned their lesson. Kabi Esi has learned that he made a, such a, a very big, terrible mistake. On the other hand, Queen Naomi has learned that she will not have run out of the palace when having issues with her husband. So they are now working it out, and we believe that it is going to be a life-changing something for both of them if they come back together. But Kabies is still angry to all the women that advised Queen Naomi to leave. That was why he saw this deaconess in Queen Naomi's church. And he decided to slam the woman for advising Queen Naomi wrongly because Kabies knew that if it is that woman's daughter, that the woman will not have advised her daughter the way they advised Queen Naomi. So my correct and wonderful people, Mommy Tedeneka, who as we heard, was just so shocked and speechless when Kabiesi was lashing out at this woman in her church over the terrible advice that they gave to Queen Naomi that warranted both of them to separate. I beg my correct people, make a natural for this article. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates will be dropping. From bear in mind that all our alleged uh, information that uh, we gather from the walls of social media, we do.